Well, we said in our interview when he was hovering around the, the world, we must meet up again sometime soon. And I'm very glad to say we have our silver medalist, Tim, with... Oh, thanks for letting me hold it. I'm just trying, that is some weight, I have to say. Congratulations again, mate. I mean, where did we end up on the league table, thanks to you? Uh, I think we were seventh per head of population. Head so, of population, yeah, right? so, so great to, to have the Isle of Man team up there, getting some recognition along with the rest of the, the world's, world's Commonwealth countries, really. Of course, we didn't give the big homecoming, but I think you're going to see the governor, you're doing some events now. This is where people can really uh, immerse themselves in your uh, honour, I suppose. Uh, yeah, so I think uh, Commonwealth Games Association have got something planned a bit later in the year, but um, I got to come back and catch up with sort of friends and family, really. So, um, you know, great to be back on the island. And, and um, I've visited a few schools as well to show some, some kind of kids the medals. So I think there's um, been maybe 350 children being able to get their hands on it, which, you know, has been really really great for me to be able to, to share that with you know hopefully the next generation as well so I mean yeah okay you, you won one before but I mean it must be something so special for you to have that yeah you describe it? I mean I guess being you know the first person to have to have two medals yeah. in the island you know it, it means an awful lot to me and um, you know I think the Isle of Man's well it's just it's just a fantastic place for me you know coming coming from here and being able to go on the world stage and, and kind of Show, show the rest of the world that, that the Isle of Man can compete on the on the world world stage and you know hold our own. It's, it's been fantastic. I mean, um, I think the team that was out there at the Gold Coast had a, had a great games. We had lots of you know personal best, lots of island records, um, and you know it would have been great if we'd had a few more medals. Um, I think they're definitely coming. I think, yeah. I, I think we've, we've shown that, that that things are you know really on the cusp of, of change possibly. But, but last not in shooting as we said on that previous interview because there's nothing going to be in Birmingham. No, no, unfortunately shooting unfortunately shooting's going. Yeah, that's just um, part of the Commonwealth Games Federation's um, decision to, to take the games in that direction. Gone forever then, or just no, no. There's still potential it might come back, um, but it's it's out of the core sports and and um, due to bed spaces, I believe that. That's why yeah, they've made the decision not to not to put shooting in because it's there is you know 15 different events so there's quite a number of competitors whereas they can have maybe two or three different sports with with smaller numbers um, and, and you know give more people the opportunity to, to go and compete really. Right. Well, I should point out the reason you're down here today, at the MT, because they're one of the sort of champions. I know you, you've been around the other uh, sponsors and helpers, right? Yeah, yeah. So uh, you know, Max Telecom was one of the Commonwealth Games um, champions, so it's great to have the support and. And great that we had the coverage we did as well. You know, there's some fantastic, um, fantastic videos produced and, and coverage we got back here on the island has been has been great as well. So, you know, huge thanks to to these guys here for for, for being associated and being part of part of the journey as well. And and you know, really supporting Manx talent and and yeah, I've been back here to you know thank my sponsors as well. So um, I've just come from RL360 who have been a you know a great supporter of me and and later on um, obviously Isle of Man Sport who've, who've kind of helped me. Almost from the start of my journey, really, you know, they've supported me for, for over ten years, giving me um, help every year. So, so yeah, I definitely wouldn't be where I was without, you know, all, all of those people that have been part of it. Really, um, you know, there's been a, a huge support team in the background as well. Um, you know, not just friends and family, but also coaches, you know, sports scientists, dietitians, and and yeah, lots of ups and downs. And and this is, you know, the, the culmination of of a, of a long journey. And and you know, it's, it's great to have that success and, and something to show and, and to bring back to the island as well. And where do you go next now? What championships are lined up? Uh, yeah, I'm I'm still sort of um, transitioning, I guess. Now, double trap's been removed from the Olympic program, um, and that was the last international event for for double trap. Um, it's it's uh, having a hard time with all these things, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a, a, a period of change, but um, that's just sport for you. And, and you know, at the moment, I just feel very happy to, to be in the position that I am, and, and you know, grateful that I've been able to go and, and bring back a, a medal for myself and, and for the Isle of Man as well.